everybody, Casey here. I'm gonna to talk to you about the rotisserie setting on our deluxe air fryer. As you already know, the deluxe air fryer can reheat, air fry, dehydrate, rotisserie, bake, roast, it does it all. You can use this as a rotisserie, one appliance. You can use this as your toaster oven, a second appliance, this is your air fryer, a third appliance, and a lot of people even use it as their second or small home oven, right? Pretty cool. So today we are doing a whole chicken on the rotisserie setting in the air fryer. I'm gonna walk you through everything that I did up until now. I already have my whole chicken in there on the spit ready to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that and then I'll walk you through everything that I did and show you how this works in the air fryer. So first of all, your big, big tip is when it says do a four pound or less chicken, that's what it means. <laughs> Don't buy a six or seven pound chicken and expect it to be able to rotate. Sometimes I have to go to the organic chicken in order for it to be small enough from our grocery store. All right, so I've got that in there. I've already added the seasoning and everything. I've tied the legs up. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. All I'm gonna do is turn the wheel here to the rotisserie setting and it already shows me the time and the temperature. And those are exactly what I need for this recipe because this recipe comes in the cooking guide for the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and push start twice, one for the time, yes, and one for the temperature, yes, and that's gonna get started. So on the rotisserie setting, it already knows to rotate. So you know I talked to you about this rotate button up here, which I use when I use the basket, I tell it to rotate. And you can turn that on and turn it off. With the rotisserie, it already knows to do that and you don't have to push that button. Again, below that is the light button. That'll turn a light on in there. You can see a little bit better and then it'll eventually time out. It doesn't keep a light on the whole time. Over here we have custom and we have cancel. If you set it up a certain way and you're like, oh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted, you can push the cancel button and start over again. So while that's going, let me show you what I did to prepare this chicken. So I'll show you what our finished results are gonna look like here. This is the Peruvian chicken. It is a whole chicken. Now, you can switch this recipe up and make it a lot of different ways. One of my very favorite ways, we love the whole chicken, but another favorite way of mine to do this same recipe is by using chicken thighs. So with that, you have a couple options. You can use the same seasoning mixture, which there's paprika and oregano and garlic and lime juice and a bunch of other seasonings that it tells you right here. Mix that all together with some oil and go ahead and season your chicken thighs. You can lay those on your trays. Remember the air fryer comes with two trays and you can get a replacement tray also. Or you can do this Peruvian chicken with the chicken thighs on the spit. So let me tell you how this works. So this guy right here comes off. This is what you start with. I like to go ahead and secure this end of it, make sure the screw in here is nice and tight. And when I'm starting with, um, let's start with the whole chicken. So the whole chicken is gonna go on there. I'll show you my picture here. You're gonna go all the way in one end up through the neck of the chicken, okay? Where both the holes are. So you go all the way through it. The back end that is secure, you wanna go ahead and push this in nice and tight until it doesn't move around. That's what these are a little bit sharper, not too sharp, and you wanna push that all the way into the chicken. Then, when you come around on this side, let me switch my hands here. When you come around on this side, you'll see how this fits in 
to this side. It'll only fit in one way. You gotta line up the holes here. And once you get this to where the chicken is, down on here and push it in nice and tight, you're gonna go ahead, drop the cookbook here over here. So once you get that in, and I try to get it fairly close to the end here, but you do wanna make sure you are past this point because that's where it hooks onto the side of the air fryer. Then you're gonna go ahead and tighten this screw down. So we just tighten that into place, just like that. And then everything is nice and secure with the chicken in the center. So then again, we're gonna place this in one side where the hole is on one side of the air fryer. And this one is gonna set on a little hook on the other side. So if that's all nice and secure, you're ready to go. Now, instead of a whole chicken, if you're doing chicken thighs, super simple. Get one side secure, take this side off, and all you're gonna do is slide your chicken thighs or breasts or whatever right down on this. And you keep pushing them down just kind of like they were a skewer or a kebab. And you can just push the chicken thigh down until you have them all on here, maybe six or seven of them depending on how big the chicken thigh is. And then you place this on, tighten up the screw. All right, so then over here, get this in place. So then over here, what we're gonna do, once we have the chicken on here, whether that's your chicken thighs or your whole chicken or whatever it is, this is called the retrieval tool. So here it works just like this. It sets right under that ledge here and on the other side. So we just pick it up. We take our whole chicken and you place it in here just like this. So once we go in here, it's a lot heavier when there's a chicken on it. So it'll stay in place. We go in on one side. I'm gonna have to help it because it doesn't have any weight and then down on the little ledge on the other side. Just like that. All right, so that's how that works. Now remember, when that's done, and if you put something in with the retrieval tool, you want to take it out with the retrieval tool because it is hot. So if you're using your basket, make sure you're using your retrieval tool. If you're using the spit, make sure you're using the retrieval tool. Same thing with the additional piece with the skewer set that you can get. That one you'll need to use the retrieval tool as well. So again, we just take it, make sure your little hooks are down so they can grab a hold. We go in, I'm turn my light back on by opening and closing the door, grab a hold right under those same spots. I'm gonna lift up on one side and pull out with the other and there we have taken it out and then I'll set it down on a cutting board, let it rest for a little while and then we'll cut up the chicken. So that's using the spit, doing a whole chicken or how you could use that with chicken thighs as well. A little bit about the retrieval tool and how that works. Remember that this recipe is actually in the cooking guide that comes with the air fryer. You guys, this has so many really, really good recipes. We have made a lot of them. You can make homemade fries. It has the recipe right in here. Coconut shrimp, the beef jerky. It's got uh, chicken tenders, chicken parmesan, stromboli, this Peruvian chicken, which now I'm gonna go make the green sauce that goes with this Peruvian chicken. If you've never had the green sauce, you are missing out on life. It is amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.